everybody and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I appreciate you joining me today. In today's video I wanted to do a review of this new kit that I purchased recently from QVC. It's the Bare Minerals Tinted Perfection. It's a seven piece kit with fresh favorites for a dewy glow. You're basically getting a uh, violet glow primer the Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream with a Broad Spectrum SPF 30, a concealer with a Broad Spectrum SPF 20, the Gin Nude Cream Eyeshadow and Primer, the Original Mineral Veil Finishing Powder, the Moxie Plumping Lip Gloss in Standout, and a Soft Focus Face and Eye Brush. And I love this Complexion Rescue right here. I've used this before. This is one of my favorite tinted hydrating gel creams and Bare Minerals really makes a really good one. So it says, this new must-have collection will be your go-to for gorgeous lit-from-within looks. This curated collection features the new Violet Glow Primer that creates a base for a soft focus glow. Award-winning Complexion Rescue Foundation provides the skin with a boost of hydration and nourishment. Light up eyes and lips with Gin Nude Cream Shadow and a new Moxie Plumping Lip Gloss in a skin-flattering fuchsia hue. Set the look with a dusting of Mineral Veil Finishing Powder and Perfect Light for the perfect polish. So I thought it'd be fun to do a full review. I'm going to put all these products on for you as I'm going along, and that way you can see how they apply. Um, I love these kind of kits from QVC, and I definitely enjoy um, using them and, and how the products apply. So first I'm going to moisturize my face with my Estee Lauder Nutritious Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Moisture Cream. I love this Estee Lauder moisturizer. I'm just going to get this all over the face. Feeling a little dry this morning, so I can definitely use the added moisture. I love the smell of this. It definitely has a nice fruity scent to it. And then next I'm going to go in with my Olay Eyes Deep Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. to hydrate right underneath my eye. Paying special attention to the corners, which seem the driest right here on the edge. Always seems the driest. Okay. And then, I'm gonna go in with this primer that came in the kit. So this is the Bare Minerals Violet Glow Primer for a naturally lit from within glow smooth onto skin after skincare routine and before makeup application. So this is what the bottle looks like. Comes in a little squeezy tube and it kind of looks like a creamy texture. I'm just going to get this all over the face to prime the skin. I love Bare, Min Bare Minerals products. I and the Complexion Rescue is one that I've used in the past and really liked. It's a very nice lightweight gel consistency. Um, I just haven't used it in a while. So you get this really cool brush with the kit. This is a soft focus face and eye brush. And let me see how I can get this out of the packaging here. Let me go ahead and open that up. So you're getting like an eye, like an eye brush, and then you're getting this nice brush on the end. I think I'm going to use that. I'm going to save that for the powder step, and I'm going to go in with my Sigma F80 to blend this out. So this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream with an SPF of 30. I'm in the shade Vanilla Zero Two. So you just twist open the cap. Have this nice new seal on it. Okay, and basically you just squeeze it out of the tube. It has a very moussey consistency. And I just get this all over the face and then blend it in with my Sigma F80 buffing, foundation buffing brush. But I love this lightweight texture. It's very, very much like a mousse. I think it has a really nice texture to this. 
I've bought just the Complexion Rescue before, but I've never actually got these other products. So I'm always, I love when you can get a kit and get a bunch of products in one to try. That's always fun. And QVC always does really good kits on their Today's Special Values, as well as um, sometimes I just browse through their makeup section to see what kind of kits they've got. So this is Complexion Rescue. It's just a very lightweight, moussey kind of texture, but it really does provide nice coverage to the skin, I think. It evens out the complexion really, really well. Add some moisture back into your skin. See how it just evened me out really nicely. I think this is good, especially for the summer months when you just want to have some coverage to even things out, but you don't need full um, staying power. So then I'm going to try this Gin Nude. I can get it out of this packaging here. It's always fun with these little plastic containers. This one's stuck in there. There we go. So this is a Gin Nude Eyeshadow Plus Primer. Um, so that, put a little bit of that on the eyelids. I'm also going to see about putting some down here. And I always like to conceal around the nose and down here. So I'm going to use that as my all over concealer. It's the eyeshadow plus primer. And I'm going to take the end of this brush and just kind of blend it in. This also has a really nice creamy texture. And this brush is small enough so it does well to conceal around the nose and mouth. I'm going to go ahead and get this concealed down underneath my eyes. This is doing a really good job of concealing. And I love the creamy texture. Really nice creamy texture. Okay, so next, so there's also a, they gave me a powder. This is the Bare Minerals Concealer in 1B Bisque. I'm also going to take some of that powder to set the under eye area. So basically you get the little jar of powder and then you peel this back. And these can sometimes be really difficult to open. I'm going to try to get this open. It is not easy. I may need to use my, my hands are pretty slick from <laughs> putting all the other stuff on. So I'm trying to see here how to get this open because I really want to show you in the video. Let me try using, got my little scissors over here. I'm going to try to get this open here. Sorry guys, I thought I could just pop it open, but it's very, very well packaged, very well packaged. Keeps the powders from leaking out, which I appreciate. There we go. So you got this little plastic cap to pop off. And I'm just actually opening this as we go along, so you're seeing it in real time. So I'm going to take a little bit of this powder, I'm going to tap it into the cap, and then I'm going to use, so we got a little bit of powder in there, and then I'm going to use my 
the brush that came with the kit, this bigger side. I'm going to swirl some of that in and conceal. So this is the Bisque Concealer by Bare Minerals. I think I need just a little bit more. mineral powder is so nice and it's so finely it has such a nice fine texture okay so now that I've got that concealed um, I do want to go in with a blush it did not come with a blush so I'm gonna use one of my own blushes here I've got a couple of new blushes and I want to try to try this. I've got this Bourgeois Paris in Frachou de Rose. It's a blush and I found this when I was looking for, um, it's actually by the same company that makes the foundation that I was demoing in my other video. So that's the Bourgeois Healthy Mix Foundation, which I really enjoy. And this is the blush. Really pretty rose shade. So I'm going to go in with an angled blush brush, my AOA Studio F13, and dip some of that in and pop it on the cheeks. Ooh, that's a pretty glow. I really like that. This is a really pretty color. It's very pigmented, too. Very small packaging, but you don't need a lot of color because it's so pigmented. And then what I'm going to add is a little bit of my Milani Soft Focus Glow. This is a complexion enhancer with a pump. I love this stuff. This is amazing. I wear shade 01 Nude Glow Fair to Light. It says get a dewy radiant glow with this weightless mineral based luminizer with soft focus pearl pigments to revive, perfect, and smooth the appearance of the skin. It contains moisturizing hyaluronic acid, brightening rose water, and soothing cucumber. I absolutely love this. This makes a beautiful highlight. And what's really cool about it is you just pop the cap off and you've got this nice little pump. So I just pump a little bit, about one pump out, and put it right on the cheekbone above where I put the blush. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my brush to go ahead and blend that out. Take my same blush brush and we're just going to blend in the highlight. It just gives it a really soft focus effect. It gives it a nice soft glowy kind of golden appearance but there's no glitter, nothing too spectacular that way. But I love the glow that you get with this. I also want to add some of my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in shade Bronzer. This is the Maru Maru Butter Bronzer, and I love this stuff. Using my AOA Studio F28 brush, I just circle it in the pan, and I go around the forehead. Take a little bit right here. Right here. And then I like to dust a little bit down here. Okay. Then I'm going to use my Milani Easy Brow Automatic Eyebrow Pencil to go ahead and stencil in my eyebrows. This is the best way to get an eyebrow. I have thin eyebrows, so I just like to pencil them in with an eyebrow pencil. All right, so then I'm going to go in with the last product that's in this kit. And this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. It's the original mineral veil. I'm going to use this as my final step to basically put powder all over the face 
and it's got the same plastic cap but it's a lot easier to open on this one it came right off i guess the second time's a charm <laughs> all right so this i'm going to do the same way i'm just going to take some of the powder and dip some of that powder into the cap so that some of that powder's in this cap it's a very fine powder i'm going to go back in with the same brush that i used had it right here. Here we go. The same Bare Minerals uh, Soft Focus Face and Eye. I'm going to dip into this, tap off, and then I'm just going to start swirling that into my skin to set this whole look. I love, I used to use the Bare Minerals like powder way back several years ago, back when I was in my 20s. I used to be very big into the mineral powders and then I got into the liquid foundations because they're just easier to apply. But I love the powder mineral foundation because I know it's really good for your skin. And with me having sensitive skin, sometimes it's nice to give my skin a little break from so much liquid and add some of the powder in. And I think this really sets the makeup nicely. So as you can tell, everything is nice and glowy and um, nicely set for the day. So now I wanna do a quick eyeshadow look. I'm going to take one of my smaller eyeshadow palettes here. Got a couple over here, let me see. Let me use this one down here. Actually, this is by Pure and this is the On The Go Eyeshadow Palette Day Eye Collection. It's very cute. It's about the size of a credit card. Very tiny, very travel friendly. And when you pop it open, you've got some really nice neutral shades going on right there. So it's very easy to pick the colors. I'm going to go in with some of the brown right here on my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to go directly into the crease just to get that all darkened up. Just felt like finishing this off with an eye look today. Okay, so I'm just getting this brown shade, which is, let's see here, it's called Gossip. Getting Gossip right here in the corner or in the crease. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Flat Eye Shading Brush and go in with one of the lighter shades. I think this light brown here looks like a good shade. Very golden-y. I'm just going to get that right along the bottom half of the lid. I'm going to take this very light champagne color here in the corner and go right in the corner of the eyelid to brighten the inner corner. See that nice brightening effect right there? Same thing over here. I want to brighten the inner corner. Inner corner. Can't talk today. I guess it's Sunday and it's... I'm struggling. Okay, so this, then I'm going to go in with this taupey shade to kind of, there's a taupey shade right here and I'm just going to kind of make a little bit above the crease to kind of accent and highlight things. go very nice by the way you see my ring super sparkly it's by this line called brilliance and I got it at Kohl's I love Kohl's jewelry I got it at Kohl's I think last year I'm also gonna go in with some of this light champagne shade up here to go underneath the brow for a highlight
All right, so let me take my Morphe M506 crease brush. Just want to deepen up the inner corner with this darkest shade. Morphe M506 crease brush is so nice because it's precision, and that's what I like about it. You can really precision detail exactly where you want the color. Love that. All right, so that is called Pure On The Go Eyeshadow Palette in the Day Eye Collection, and I really like the size of that. It's very, very tra travel friendly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to deepen up the lashes, and then I will finalize this whole look with the lip product. I love Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. It has such a good brush. Just a standard brush, but it's very um, easy to work with. Alright, I'm going to dip back into the brush, go to the other side. Just a nice mascara formula. It's been around a while. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, it's been in several of their limited edition kits and then by itself, it's very popular. And I definitely like it. it. I like the Clump Crusher really, I think that's probably my favorite right now because it really um, It really, oops. I've got to fix that. I got a little bit of mascara there. I always kind of try to do that, but then I'll just take some concealer and take my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and conceal right over that. I always seem to have issues with mascaras. All right, let me see what I did with my brush here. Use my Pixi foundation brush to blend that out. Concealer is amazing. You can just conceal right over any problem areas. All right, now I'm gonna finish the look with the Bare Minerals uh, standout. This is the standout and it's, I believe it's a lip gloss formula. Yes, yeah, so we've got a standard doe foot applicator. And, ooh, that's really pretty. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to add, because that's, I love the shade. It's super pretty. It's a very light color. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this other lipstick and then add that on top. So I'm going to put some of the Ulta Beauty Lady Boss. This is Ulta Beauty Lady Boss Lipstick. And this is a newer lipstick that I got recently. It's a very pretty shade. I'm actually going to put some of this on because I want a deeper lip. And this is how you do it, folks. This is how I do it. So you put, what I do is I put a lipstick on that's a D for shade. And I do several swipes to deepen up the color. And then what I'll do is go back in with the Bare Minerals lip gloss. If you do several swipes, it'll deepen up the lip color. All right, so now that I've got the lip color on, now I want to go back in with the standout. See how pretty that is? 
It's a beautiful light pink glowy shade. Very, very gorgeous. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a springtime look, and I think that that's a gorgeous combination. So we've got the Lady Boss lipstick mixed with the standout lip gloss from Bare Minerals. And I absolutely love that. So I hope you enjoyed this look. I had a lot of fun with that kit. I think that that's a great combination. I love the fact that you're getting the concealer, the original mineral veil, plus that amazing foundation. You're getting basically everything that you need to create a simple look. Um, so if you like these type of videos, don't forget to click the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the red subscribe button down below. If you like hair uh, reviews, if you like alternative hair and hairstyles, different shades, uh, please check out my other channel, which is called Glam Life Wig Reviews, and I'd love to see you there as well. I share um, reviews on different wigs that I have and the different um, styles and colors of those wigs. So I'd love to see you on that channel as well. I hope you have an amazing day and I really enjoyed sharing this video with you and, and just sharing how to apply it on my face today. So I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!